Hi, I'm Andy of Soulful Videos, here with Francis Cabildo. Now Francis, we met through uh, SCRC, you worked the, the teen track, you played uh, for 2014, I believe? Yeah, yeah, I was there. <laughs> so, uh, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm, I'm a worship leader um, here from Southern California. Um, I'm also a, a full-time campus minister at a Catholic high school. That's cool, that's cool. So how did, uh, how did you get your start in music ministry? Well, I didn't, in, well, in ministry in general, I didn't start with music. Um, when I was a teenager, you know, I went on this week-long retreat um, over the summer where I had a pretty profound experience. Um, you know, I'm just like a normal Catholic, cradle Catholic. Parents went to church. Uh, we went to church every Sunday. But, you know, it, it didn't mean anything to me. But on this retreat, I got to experience an encounter, um, really the, the love of God for the first time. Um, and I've heard those before, those, you know, God loves you and God, um, God would die for you even if you yeah. were the only person on the earth. And, but for the, for the first time in my life, I actually believed it and I, and I experienced that on that retreat. Um, so my, my, that was the kind of first initial conversion that I had with, uh, with God and coming back to God. And that really set my heart um, and my faith alive. And then later on, after got, getting involved with, uh, with my parish and youth group um, and youth ministry, you know, I, I picked up the guitar for the first time when I was like 19 years old. Oh. And um, my youth minister showed me a, a, sim, you know, a, a G chord, and I was hooked. <laughs> and I went and bought a guitar um, from uh, some, some music shop. It's like a $100 guitar. And then bought a little book, a little chord book. And then every night after work, I would come home and go in my garage and just practice and learn how to play chords and this and that. And, and then pretty soon, you know, I started um, discovering that this is something that I love to do. Yeah. Um, and then, and I wasn't even singing yet, you know, and I didn't even know how to sing <laughs> um, until, like, I got an opportunity at church and they said, hey, won't you sing with us? I'm like, I don't sing. And then, then I discovered, like, hey, I, I can do this. It's something that I enjoyed. And then and incorporating, you know, the playing guitar and, and singing and then putting that together with prayer. I was like, this, this is a pretty cool thing. I think I want to do this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's great. That's amazing, man. Honestly, like 19 years old and you just picked yeah. it up and that's, that's, yeah. that's beautiful, man. That's a beautiful story. So um, what is it, though, about praise and worship that, that you enjoy the most? Oh man, there's so many things about about that, um, and it's it's not about um, just singing songs for me. Um, my favorite way to pray is is through music, mm -hmm. um, whether that's somebody else's music that I'm singing, um, you know, a popular worship song that people know. It becomes my own, you know, these songs, these words that I'm singing. It becomes a prayer for me, and. Um, one thing that I love about it is that, and it sounds kind of, I'm not trying to make a pun or anything, but yeah. in, in, uh, I, I want to be instrumental, you know, in, uh, in allowing God to use me and allowing and, um, other people to encounter God through, through that type of prayer, through music and worship and praise. Um, and there's nothing like it when you're praying with people, whether that be two people in the room or however many people, it doesn't matter. Um, for me, it's, it's just the desire to encounter God in those moments of prayer, um, especially through music. Because music, and, and um, it helps, at least for me, it helps me say things that I can't normally say um, by, by other means of prayer, you know? Yeah, yeah. When you're writing a song, is there a certain process that you, that you use or is there where, where do you draw your inspiration to write songs? Um, no, writing, writing songs, it's, it's, never, it's never come easy for me. I don't think, I don't consider myself a, a songwriter, um, but when I do write songs, the places where they come from, it's usually when I'm in, in prayer or I'm going through some kind of, um, not necessarily a struggle in my faith or in life, but just where I am with God at that moment. Um, God kind of places certain things in my heart that I would think about for weeks and weeks and weeks and I, and I meditate on it and I put it aside and I come back to it. Um, so definitely I think you know, the Holy Spirit's definitely you know, inspiring me to, 
to get these thoughts, maybe you write a few words down. And I love writing with, with friends and other worship leaders um, and collaborating that way because I think um, that's the best way that I um, come up with songs or we as a, as a team, as a group of people, worship leaders, worshipers um, uh, can come up with a, with a song that hopefully um, gives glory to God somehow. Yeah. I've, uh, I've sang the song Wildfires with, with my parish and stuff. It's, it's a great awesome. song. I love it. It's such a, such a great song, such a great worship song. I was just curious, where did you draw the inspiration for Wildfires? No, the inspiration for, for Wildfires, um, I'm, I'm part of this uh, ministry for college students um, called 242 Revolution. And we put on these conferences and camps um, for college students. And this one particular uh, year, our theme was Catalyst. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, a co-writer of the song, um, Greg Andrews, um, brought this idea of wildfires um, and a beautiful um, uh, chorus and melody. Um, so we sat down um, and we just crafted this song and some, some words and the, the whole image about, about about fire and how it's uh, it's dangerous, but it's also life giving. Yeah. Um, and like you know, Southern California, we're, we're not we're not strangers to wildfire. Yeah. yeah. Um, every year, there's there's a threat of it, and how quickly it spreads. And so the inspiration comes from uh, Luke twelve forty nine, really, when Jesus says, "Oh, how I wish the earth uh, was already ablaze," you know, um, was on fire. Um, for him and that for us, for me and for Greg, we we took that whole idea from Luke twelve forty nine, and like man, that's that's how I want to be for God, um, in everything that I do, whether that be writing songs for the church, um, leading uh, leading worship for uh, a congregation, going to work, um, my normal day job, and not everybody's a worship leader, um, but whatever people are in, if you're a student, and everything that you do that that your faith um, is part of that. Um, and to become infectious in a way where God's love is, is spread throughout, you know, and he is, his renown is known throughout the world and through wherever community you're in, your church community, your, your work community, your school community, and most especially your family, you know, just to be a catalyst for God, um, for his love and to bring people closer to, to Christ that way. Wow. Well, you mind sharing the song with us right now? No, I don't mind at all. I'd love to. I sing to you the highest praise and find myself safe and safe. We worship you, our praises rise, our praises rise, our praises rise, whoa, our hearts they burn for you like wildfires, our hearts they burn for you, your kingdom come, you will be done on earth. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth, Jesus. Nothing can contain, nothing can separate your love for us.
That's pretty much it. That was beautiful, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you for joining us, man. It was great having you. Um, I'm curious, though. Your music is on iTunes, correct? Yeah. Uh, Wildfires is on iTunes uh, as a single. I have another single um, on iTunes called Depths of My Heart. Um, so hopefully you can check that out. Um, people can pray with that. And um, just finished uh, a third song um, called We've Come Alive. And that's going to be part of the, the EP. That's okay. going to be coming out. Oh, hopefully. you have an EP coming in. Yeah, we're working on it. Um, praying, praying about that. Um, for God to guide the rest of the project, um, rest of the songs, um, deciding what songs to, to put in the EP. Um, so hopefully um, things come together. Um, summertime, yeah, should be releasing. Um, you can keep up with some of the updates like I on, on the website, franciscabildomusic.com. Um, real simple to find. Um, you can listen to the songs too. They're, um, they're uploaded on the website. Yeah. Well, thank you, Francis, for joining us. Yeah. I'm Andy of Soulful Videos, and thank you for tuning in. From the depths of my heart, I cry.